And that's a perfect segue to introduce our guests here now joining us. We have Matt Gibb and Janet Bloom of the uh, Lake Orion DDA. Welcome to the set. Thanks. Thank you. You're no stranger to this place. You've been here before. Um, the promo we just saw was for the Halloween extravaganza. It's right around the corner. I'm looking forward to it as always. What can we expect on Wednesday the 16th? Yes, so uh, it runs from five to eight that evening and we are bringing back the parade. So uh, we've got a lot of great comments. Um, used to have the parade and then when COVID hit, we had to stop that activity. So we are very happy to bring it back. Um, we are going to run it down Anderson Street. So we're gonna have everybody meet by Village Hall right at the corner of um, Anderson and Church. And we're gonna go down Anderson to Children's Park. We'll have lots of kids activities, cider and donuts and different activities going on. And um, then we'll have a trick or treat trail map. So we want to get parents and kids to our different downtown businesses. So um, there'll be lots for the kids and families to do. Now brace yourself because <laughs> we have some video of uh, the last uh, parade in 2019. And Conservatively, there might have been a thousand kids in downtown Lake Orion. Are you ready for that kind of turnout? <laughs> Bring it on. We'll take it. Uh, <laughs> the more the merrier. So, um, again, it's just a testament to people enjoy this type of activity. So, we are very thankful to be able to bring it back. That is so awesome. I'm looking forward to it because it's such a great visual of seeing all these kids uh, marching through the village and, and scattered throughout downtown Lake Orion. It's just r really something to see and kind of captures the spirit of the uh, this season. Uh, so what's going to be going on in Children's Park? Yeah, so we're going to have photo opportunities. We're going to have Halloween style music. Uh, more tricks and treats will be in, in store. Um, we have some kids entertainment that uh, once they get down there, well, they'll see what we've got in store for them. <laughs> there, there is a surprise that we won't give full right. about, but uh, we hear that an actual Halloween dragon is showing up. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's quite quite cool actually. <laughs> <laughs> and if I remember correctly, there's usually a DJ in the gazebo playing some, you know, the monster mash. There you go, like there that's you go. We'll have music going and um, yeah, just again, another great way to, and what's unique about Children's Park, right? So you have the gazebo, you have the playground and green space to, to be able to enjoy. And then obviously making your way through downtown, it'll just be a great evening. Yeah. We're, we're, we're fortunate, Joe. So Janet joined us this year. Um, she's no stranger to DDA work and to building downtowns in Northville and Farmington and other places. And if you came to the movie night last Friday, you got a sense oh. of how cool she makes it. With uh, We had uh, Garfield was there uh, in life-size form. <laughs> and, uh, and it was just a lot of fun. So we're expecting the same type of vibrancy. And, you know, we'll ask for a little bit of nice weather again. That'd be great. <laughs> You've had some really neat events. Uh, we were talking just before the show. Talk right. about the cemetery tour that you just hosted. Well, you know, uh, history is near and dear to my heart, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, we partner with the Orange Historical Society. It's the second year of doing the tour. Um, John Bry, who runs the Main Street program in Oakland County, we've been accredited again uh, for our 17th consecutive year as a nationally accredited program. Uh, which we're pretty proud of, right? Right. Uh, so John usually leads it, but John had some difficulty in his in his personal life. So um, uh, and so the historic society stepped in, and so we highlighted uh, four families, four legacy families. There's probably a hundred. I think you talk about it constantly. The, yeah, yeah. The amount of history we have in this mm -hmm. town, um, and it was a beautiful day, really, to learn about history. And um, as an example, the Predmore family. Um, I had no idea some of the things that they had done, that, that he was actually at the White House when Lincoln was shot and was mm. part of the crew uh, that, uh, that took on that situation and the emergency of President Lincoln being shot that night. Mm. Um, and it's one of our legacy families. I mean, it's just all of that history combined. So it was a really nice day for everyone. Yeah, I know when uh, I, I was at the cemetery a few years ago and learned a little bit about uh, Blanche Sims, mm. who the elementary school is named after, and she's buried in that cemetery. And uh, she is, a, uh, they, I believe they call her the daughter of the American Revolution, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And so they had yeah. a little ceremony mm -hmm. where they added a symbol to her gravestone or something like that. And I believe her, her house 
Do you know where the uh, Spresser Ogden house is? It is. I yeah. believe Blaine Sims lived in the house directly across the street from that. So, uh, so she's one of our most famous Lake Orion residents. Uh, everyone knew and loved uh, Blaine Sims. As a matter of fact, kind of a neat little story. When we were at the cemetery shooting video, a pickup truck rolled up and an older gentleman got out and he was like, what are you guys doing? And we said, oh, we're shooting video in the cemetery. And he had never seen the inside of the mausoleum that's there, so right. we had it open, so he poked his head in there. And he said, uh, which graves are you highlighting? And we mentioned Blanche Sims, and he said, she was my teacher. And, we, and so I swung the camera around and said, tell us about that. And so it was amazing that while we were in the cemetery and we were talking about Blanche Sims, one of his former students just happened to walk up on us. That was pretty amazing. That yeah, so. it, it, pretty neat. So, you know, the downtown is full of the history. Mm. I mean, we still have some of our buildings have the bowling alley in the basement and caskets in the rafters for the <laughs> Halloween time. Uh, uh, and it's really interesting. So look for more to come, Joe, on that. Yeah. You know, we really want to expand. but. The expansion for us is really expanding the historical society and those community members that really know who we are and can tell that story better. So our job is to give them the, the fuel and the kindling wood and, and let them run with it. And uh, uh, that's what we're hoping for years to come. So. You know what I'd like to see the return of is uh, the historical society used to have like a heritage days mm -hmm. and uh, they would get some of the residents in the village to open their homes up for tours and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was a real celebration of Lake Orion history and with events and activities going on downtown. And maybe, I'm gonna put you on the spot here, <laughs> maybe when that uh, lumber yard uh, gets closer to completion and the plans that you have for it, maybe that can be the focus of a lot of these events? Well, I'll, I'll jump the gun and then I'll be quiet and let the all-star here <laughs> talk about uh, some of the cool programming and events that we got coming because we've got some really cool things that are coming up in the next few weeks. But, you know, the Lumber Yards Project, uh, we thank you again for doing the initial video of what's it look like now. That went We're getting, really well. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of people have really watched it and commented on it. Um, uh, you know, since that video, we we uh, have working with local friends and contractors that uh, have removed 21 um, semi-trailer loads, 40-yard trailer loads, was just debris, oh, wow. just garbage, but not from inside any of the buildings. That's just what's <laughs> laying in between. And so uh, we're getting closer to having the, the site really ready to more vision plan. Mm -hmm. uh, we did get a big grant. I think a lot oh, of people wow. don't realize that, that uh, we were able to secure $595,000 to go towards wow. historic preservation of the main barn. And so again, picture as we did on that video, you know, our, con our gazebo series for concerts, which was so successful this year, continues, yeah. but we also kind of put that on steroids a little bit and we go in, sorry, into the barn and we have old movies and we have a heritage festival or we have those types of things. And so we're, we're getting closer, Joe, um, you know, stay tuned. We're trying to enhance our website so you'll see plans and you'll see reports and grant information and things there. So if you're curious, just check out downtownlakeorion.org. You can find all that info. That's awesome. Yeah, I had mentioned to someone that uh, there was talk of maybe making the barn like a, a concert venue. And they said, oh, is that going to compete with 20 Front Street? And I said, no, as a matter of fact, 20 Front Street books these, the, the talent yeah. for these events, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're working closely with uh, Alan and Kevin and his team there. You know, it's such a great venue. Um, they've had some talent in recently that we don't deserve as a community. <laughs> I mean, we really don't. I mean, they're coming they're, in from yeah. Nashville and other yeah. places, and we get the beneficiary mm -hmm. of that. Janet did a Absolutely. phenomenal job of working with Kevin to build the gazebo series. The idea of the of the lumber yard at Paint Creek is that we would enhance that. So 20 Front has already risen their hand and volunteered, hint, hint, uh, <laughs> that uh, how do we make it even bigger and better? So you can picture us becoming even more of a music town where we have 20 Front with its intimate listening venue. You have our outdoor mm -hmm. series of concerts at the gazebo. We also have the Flint Street Alley that could have a busker. We could have different things. And then if you open up the barn in a year or so from now when we get to that stage, and now we can put a thousand people inside a 110 year old barn. It's pretty cool, pretty cool yeah. vision, yeah. I mean, I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, but do you imagine the Halloween extravaganza being expanded into the, the lumber yard? Yeah, I think it just gives us an, an additional venue, right, yeah. to be able to add additional activities to the events. Um, uh, it's been great as far as, even though we haven't, um, you know, been able to get people uh, as far as within the barn areas, but to even have the temporary event parking that we've been able to do for some of our larger events this yeah. past summer. Um, 
But absolutely, I think it allows us to really think out of the box and and um, uh, just really have some interesting things that we could do that ties in with our downtown still. So um, yeah, excited to see what we can pull together for all that coming I, up. I keep thinking that, well, Janet could scare people in the barn, but she's too nice. She can never scare, we'll leave that to her, you know? They put this ugly mug in the rafters and be like, it's a haunted barn. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. That sounds <laughs> awesome. Now, I, I think we talked about this recently. I know you are, you guys aren't going to be a major part of this, but are you going to be supporting the upcoming Witches Night? I know Oxford does an annual Witches Night. Yeah. What will Lake Orion's role be in that? Yeah, so we have partnered together wholeheartedly with Oxford again, so it's considered a Stronger Together event. Mm -hmm. um, the hours will be 5 to 10. The trolley will be running the, during those times, plus an hour after to get you back to your vehicle, no matter com what community you park in. And um, again, it is a retail evening, so it's a chance for women to get dressed up in all their witches' garb and uh, go store to store. And there'll be different activities and events and um, uh, contests and giveaways and raffles and um, uh, just a lot of great opportunities for people to shop all these different great boutiques and, and shops that we have in downtown. And, and we're grateful. Our business community is pretty good. You know, I mean, they, yeah. they really rally to it. And so Annalise, who's from uh, Boutique Chic, yes. I always get it the other way, Chic Boutique, Boutique Chic, great. <laughs> the, 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 the very beautiful successor store to Simply Marcella. Yeah. Um, there, um, She's jumped right up and has yes. kind of led the charge a little bit. And Sandra from Epic Realty and others have said, we're in. Mm -hmm. And so we're seeing the businesses really kind of bring you support. So we we thought, well, Witches Night is a nice way for us to brand a little bit and get some people down. Well, now it's turning into a big event, which yeah. is oh, really great. wonderful yes. and really, really showcases. But it's going to be led by the businesses. The businesses are working together. Janet's mm -hmm. there with a big push of support to say, you know, what can you do to make it a really fun, uh, pleasant night uh, in the community? And we all know the Witches Night. Sometimes the ge the girls from the lake come out, and it's quite fun, actually. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, so uh, Ron Zilka's daughters all dress up, and away yeah. we go. So, you know, it's good. This is Saturday the 20th? Is it's on actually Friday. It's Friday. A tw uh, October 25th. Oh, the following week. Okay. Yes, yes. That's exciting. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I know I covered it uh, about two years ago, and seeing the the groups of women and there were a few warlocks right. there too <laughs> Thrown um, in the mix. <laughs> but seeing them up and down the sidewalk just in character uh it's a lot of fun i mean we recently had the zombie walk which is a little smaller scale but that, that witch's night was really something to see well yeah. so you shouldn't say smaller scale because uh, uh lloyd co from uh, yeah. ed's broadway gifts who, who really spearheads that's mm -hmm. a fundraiser he said, what, 70? Yeah. 70 yeah. participants, which was a huge turnout for them. Yeah. And so the downtown was Possibly flooded with the zombies. biggest yeah. ever. I mean, mm -hmm. I've covered it yeah. for years, and it was an impressive group, yeah. 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 So lots of fun stuff coming up. Uh, I don't. Do we want to look ahead to the holidays? What's What's yeah, planned for the so, holidays? So um, we certainly have, and you may have to double check me on the dates coming <laughs> up, but... Um, We'll have another daytime uh, lady shopping uh, event coming up November 16th. November 21st will be the sing and stroll. We oh, get a chance awesome. to bring in Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And um, uh, so that's a, another great community event to bring everybody together, sing Christmas carols. Um, you have uh, the horse drawn wagons. Yeah, so we're bringing those. And then we also have the um, Turning on the lights, so turn on the Christmas lights. So, oh. again, just a really great way to that hometown, uh, hometown holiday feel. Yeah. So we have that coming up as well. We're, we're recruiting singers, so you two look yes. perfect. <laughs> Mike, I think you carry a tune very well. You, you would be fabulous to lead our, our carols, that's for sure. I can change the station on the radio, <laughs> but I can't sing. Yeah, yeah it's good. It, it's one of the things that's been great for us is that um, uh, even though I've been in the community a long time, as you two know, Janet is, is already a veteran and, <laughs> and an old timer in, in our community. Um, <laughs> but really drawing out volunteers, we're starting to see, yeah. see groups that really want to participate. So the Oakview Cyber Dragons, the, the middle school um, robotics team, mm -hmm. um, they filled our movie night. And so we're looking for some more volunteers. Right. We would love to get a group that loves to sing. We well, if about we have to sing, Joe and I will come to a Halloween event because it was <laughs> scary. There you, <laughs> go. there you go. Yeah, the spooky voice would be <laughs> spot on. Yeah, it's good. But we do put that call out, Joe. Yeah, that, you know, that's that great. Our events are, um, 
they're just community. So the more community we have, the better. And anybody that might be watching that says, oh, well, my, my church youth choir or my group at the high school would really love to get more involved. We are all ears and open yeah. arms to all of that. Yeah. You know what's awesome is uh, the last two years I helped Orient Township uh, put together videos for this American Bloom uh, YouTube video competition, I guess. And when I put those videos together, I rely heavily on video that I've shot in the vi vi we, we in village. Yeah, we noticed. We noticed. <laughs> the beautiful flowers that you said, Pinknick uh, helps mm -hmm. do the, yeah. the yeah. landscaping. The, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, downtown Lake Orion is absolutely stunning, just stunning. And so I think that plays a big part of, of why we've won that contest the last two years. Yeah, it, it's, um, you know, the, the DDA over the last couple of years has had a lot of question marks. Um, you know, we're an older DDA. Um, we've done streetscapes and the gazebo in the park and the bridge over the creek. I mean, all of that is a byproduct of the DDA, but at our core is we provide quality of life mm -hmm. more than anything. Janet and I, sometimes we're, our voice sounds scraggly because we're <laughs> like, okay, well, you know, there's nobody to water the flowers, so today let's just go water mm -hmm. the flowers. Yeah. And then we were carrying corn, they should have had you video, we were all carrying <laughs> corn stalks <laughs> through the downtown. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, but it, it really is, um, it gives us a sense of community stronger than ever. We had a great chamber luncheon, super happy on yeah. TV was supporting that last week that yep. each of the speakers really had a theme of one thing is that we're Orion. We're like right. one community that really rallies for each other. And if we can water the flowers, mm. that's just our small part. That's right. So. That's right. Uh, <laughs> all right, give us the website one last time. Downtownlakeorion.org and certainly right. check us out on our Facebook and um, our Instagram. Awesome, yeah, lots of great stuff coming up. Thanks for coming out as always. Glad Thank to have you. you. Lots of exciting news happening in downtown Lake Orion.